Hey guys, today we're diving into some unique and off the beaten path experiences. Let's kick off the day. Our day started with some poolside fun. After a refreshing swim, we headed to a nearby beach. After working up an appetite, we sat down for a delicious breakfast at our resort. Once we were fueled up, we set off to explore the extreme south of Goa. Our destination, a hidden gem that most tourists don know about it's near palalam beach but it's more than just a beach this place is an untouched paradise as we drove through the village roads surrounded by marshland and vibrant greenery i had no idea what was coming next we hopped on a boat and entered the serene goan backwaters something completely different from the usual beach experience the highlight of this backwater trip feeding the eagles yes you heard that right we watched in awe as black eagles, rare white eagles and even seagulls swoop down to catch food mid-air. It was an incredible to see this majestic birds in their natural habitat. This marshland is a treasure trove for wildlife. Crabs scuttling through the mud, palm trees lining the shore, and peaceful ambience of nature made this one our favorite spot in Goa. We spent hours here just talking in the sights and sounds. If you're looking for something different away from the crowds, this place is a must visit with family. After our boat ride, we dropped off at Palalam Beach, known for its calm waters and relaxed vibe. It's one of Goa's best kept secrets. The beach is famous for its crescent shaped shoreline, perfect for relaxing stroll. And you can even rent kayaks to explore the quiet coves nearby. Exploring in the sun can make you thirsty. So we stopped for some refreshing coconut water and a quick snack of pineapple. Coconut water is a lifesaver when you're spending the day in the heat. Then we continued our journey and headed towards one of the oldest fort of Goa, Cabo de Rama. The fort dates back centuries and has seen everything from the Hindu rulers to Portuguese colonization. You can still see the remnants of cannons and walls that have stood their test of time. But what really blew us away was the view from the top of the fort. From up here, the view is nothing short of breathtaking. As you can see the vast Arabian Sea stretching into the horizon and the palm fingered coastline below. We learn that there is even a hidden pebble beach you can hike down to. But since it involves a long set of steps, we decided to save it for our next visit. This place feels like a secret paradise tucked away from the usual tourist spots. If you are in a history bluff or just love exploring places with an old world charm, Cabo de Rama is an absolute must and it's not crowded at all, which made it feel even more special.
After that, we had lunch, clicked a few pictures, and the day came to an end. We headed back to our resort, packed our bags, and caught our flights back to Hyderabad. It was raining when as we left and the weather was just perfect to say goodbye to Goa. We had such an incredible time filled with new experiences and I can't wait to come back. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in our next video.